Weather Words and What They Mean by Gail Gibbons. The weather changes from day to day. Weather words explain what the weather is like outside. Look, it's sunny. I need my boots. It's raining. It's beginning to snow. The weather forecast is fair today. It sure is hot and humid. Temperature. The weather is made up of temperature, air pressure, how much moisture is in the air, and how fast the wind is moving. The position of the sun and other factors cause temperature to change. Air pressure. Air pressure is the force produced by the weight of the air pressing down on the earth. Both temperature and air pressure both play into how weather changes from day to day. Moisture. Moisture in the air comes from water that evaporates mostly from the oceans. Wind. Wind is air in motion. Temperature. The temperature goes up. And down. When the sun rises in the morning, the air becomes warmer and the temperature goes up. When the sun sets, the air becomes cooler and the temperature goes down. The temperature also changes with the seasons. In the summer, the sun is high in the sky. The days are warm and longer. In the winter, the sun is low in the sky. The days are cold and shorter. Do you prefer the days in the summer that are longer and warmer, or do you prefer the days in the winter that are darker and shorter? Air pressure. High pressure is when air particles are close together. The air is usually cool and dry. High pressure often brings fair weather. Low pressure is when the air particles are farther apart. The air is usually warm and moist. Low pressure. Often brings wet weather. Let's review. High air pressure means particles are close together, and low air pressure means air particles are farther apart. The amount of moisture in the air is called humidity. Warm air has more moisture in it than cold air. At night, when the air cools down, it can't hold as much moisture. The moisture that forms on the ground is called dew. If the temperature goes below freezing, the dew freezes. Then it's called frost. So we can tell how much moisture is in the air by measuring humidity, and the temperature of the air is what determines if the moisture is going to be dew or frozen as frost. Moisture makes clouds too. When water evaporates from rivers, lakes, and oceans, it is called vapor. It moves up with the warm air. And forms little drops of water or ice crystals. A cloud is formed. Clouds come in all shapes and sizes. There are three main kinds of clouds. Cumulus clouds are puffy; they are fair weather clouds. Cirrus clouds are the highest clouds; they mean fair weather too. Stratus clouds are low, gray clouds. Sometimes they bring rain or snow. There are other kinds of clouds with long names. They are combinations of cumulus, cirrus, and stratus clouds. Cirrocumulus clouds usually mean changing weather. Cirrostratus clouds often bring rain or snow. Nimbostratus clouds bring rain or snow. Altostratus clouds often bring rain or snow. Stratocumulus clouds usually are winter clouds. Cumulonimbus clouds are thunderstorm clouds. Altocumulus clouds can bring showers or snow flurries. Sometimes the sun shines through them. As you can see, there are many different cloud patterns, and cloud patterns can help us determine what the weather is going to be like. A cloud close to the Earth's surface is called fog. Rain forms inside rain clouds. The water vapor that evaporates from below forms tiny water drops. The tiny drops join together and become bigger drops. When they are heavy enough, they fall. Rain. 
Rain comes down in different ways. Drizzle is when raindrops are very small. A shower is a brief rainfall. A normal rain is a steady rainfall. A rainstorm is when there are strong winds and lots of rain. Sometimes there are floods when heavy rain falls or when it rains for a long time. Thunderstorms can be powerful and noisy. Lots of tiny drops of water whip around inside the cloud at very high speeds. When they rub and bump against each other, they make electricity. When enough electricity builds up, it bursts through the cloud and flashes. This is called lightning. Lightning is very hot. It heats the air around it. The hot air expands, and boom! It makes a loud noise called thunder. Everyone loves looking at a rainbow. This may happen while it's raining, or just after the rain stops. When sunbeams shine through drops of rain, the light breaks up into seven colors. A rainbow appears. Sometimes in the winter, it snows. Snow crystals form when moisture freezes inside the clouds. When the snow crystals join together, they become snowflakes. When they are heavy enough, they fall. Snow falls to the earth in different ways. Flurries are when it snows lightly. A snowstorm is when a lot of snow falls. It can be windy. Sleet is snow that melts and refreezes before it hits the ground. A normal snowfall occurs when there is little or no wind. A blizzard is a snowstorm with high winds. The snow can become deeper as the wind howls. Sometimes it hails. Inside the cloud, ice crystals are tossed up and down. Water vapor freezes onto the ice crystals in layers. When they become heavy enough, they fall as hailstones. Hailstones can be as small as a pea, or as big as a baseball. Wind happens when warm air moves up and cooler air moves in to replace it. Warm and cool temperatures affect the wind speed and direction. Wind direction is where the wind comes from. When wind blows with more and more force, a windstorm develops. There are many kinds of windstorms. Often, they cause damage. A gale is a strong windstorm. A hurricane is a spiral-shaped windstorm that comes from the tropics. A tornado is a dark, funnel-shaped windstorm that twists. The many combinations of temperature, air pressure, moisture, and wind create different kinds of weather conditions. A big area of weather that is the same is called an air mass. The boundary between two air masses is called a front. This boundary is where the weather changes. The weather is hardly ever the same from day to day. That's why it's so interesting. Let's go swimming. It's hot. Brr. It's cold outside. All right, Atlas readers. It's time for our three questions of the day. First, how does moisture help create clouds? Two. Why do rainbows appear after rain? Three. How can cloud patterns help us predict the weather? All right, Atlas readers. I hope you were able to learn something new about the weather today, and let someone know something new that you learned today from this book. Bye. See you next time.